What's cracking, yo? Welcome back to Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. As you all know by now, the whole world knows, LeBron James has surpassed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and is now the NBA's all-time leading scorer when it comes to total career points, a record that Kareem has held for almost 40 years now. I watched the first half of the game, and then I had to leave, I had to go to work and do some things, so I didn't catch the second half. So when I left in the first half, he only needed 16 more points. And it looks like he achieved that goal. So this is my reaction to LeBron James's bucket that put him over the top. All right, let's check it out. For James, he's got it. There it is. What's it going to be? A dunk, a sky hook, a jumper, a fadeaway, a layup. Oh, a little fadeaway. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Kareem giving him an applause. Can't imagine that feeling right now. Probably overwhelming. So much joy. 38,388 career points. Yo, I see he put the headband on. <laughs> How it all began. I'm sure he's, he, he's ready to get that that monkey off his back having to go through that. You know what? He's a bit of a narcissist, so he might have liked the whole journey of it constantly being a topic of discussion. Brace from his mother. Gloria. The star is here coming in. Oh, the boys. Bryce and Bronny. Bryce and Bronny. What a moment. What was once thought is an unbreakable record has just been broken by 38-year-old LeBron James. On a step back against very good defense here by Kenridge Williams. I, Made him earn it. I don't know about really good defense. Really good defense? I don't know about that. But uh, anywho, big congratulations to LeBron James. This is a true testament to your work ethic your longevity, your regiment, your hard work, getting up every day, hitting the gym, taking care of your body. You've been blessed with some God-given talent, especially at your size. You put the work in. Like I said, you take care of your body. You have continued to adapt to the game, and it's really been good that as the league has changed over the years, the game has became faster. There's a lot of small ball. There's not as much big men. And you have always thrived inside of the paint, close to the basket for how you get the majority of your buckets and where you shoot or quote unquote shoot your higher percentages. So you've been able to continue to do that even in your later years and take advantage of the lack of big bruising big men and big bodies and continue to dominate these small ball lineups and these quote unquote small centers, quote unquote centers today. So as you should, that's not a slight, as you should, as putting it into context. Continue to thrive in the paint and see how far you can really put this thing out of reach. How I see it, I I really think LeBron James has another five four to five good years left. Like I think LeBron James can average at least twenty four points for the next four or five years. Considering the state of the league, how small that how small players are, how well he takes care of his body, and you know he doesn't have to rely on jump shots because he can wreak havoc in the paint. Still, unless they, unless unless they start emphasizing the big man again and start changing the rules, but I don't see that happening. So I really think LeBron, granted, he continues to avoid any career-ending and season-ending injuries like no Achilles tears or ACLs or anything like that. Granted. He can continue to do this for many, many, many years and really put this thing out of reach. 
like current players like in the NBA now that are coming up, I can't really see any of them by the time their career ends catching LeBron. Kevin, I would have put my money on Kevin Durant years ago, except for the, the fact that Kevin Durant is not a relentless scorer in a set in, in a way that Kobe or Michael Jordan was. Kevin Durant is just happy getting his 14 shots and scoring 25 to 30 points on ridiculously good percentages and efficiency. But Kevin Durant's mentality isn't like that, where he's just like, I'm going to give you buckets every game. Because if that was Katie's mentality, I feel like if he could avoid the injury, he would no doubt have been the all-time leading scorer by the time his career's up. But I think that that ship has sailed now. KD gets injured too much and he really doesn't have that that mentality to just give you buckets even though he can like average 40 if he really wanted to so i don't really see anybody now nobody's really hitting those youngest player to score this youngest player to score that as far as total points youngest player to score that. nobody's really been hitting those those landmarks so you know part of me is like maybe if luca could stay healthy but i don't think he has the body for longevity and so i mean really only person I could really think could think of is Victor Wembanyama. Moving forward, I think what's that? Um, Ant Edwards, I think, could be on a good track if if he ups his scoring a little bit and, and keeps it consistent. But he has a strong body, somewhat similar to LeBron James, and he could uh, stay away from any any injuries. He he might have a, he might have a shot in the dark. Ant Edwards. If he can really take on a scoring load more. Anywho, again, shout out to LeBron James. Uh, amazing. I'm glad we've been able to witness this in our lifetime. This is something that doesn't happen often. Once in a lifetime kind of thing. Once every generation kind of thing. Maybe every two generations. But unless Victor Wembanyama can pull it off, I really... It's gonna be. It's gonna be, I don't see anybody topping this. As LeBron James continues to play, he's just gonna keep putting that thing further and further and further out of reach. But you know, I, it was coming. I knew LeBron was, James was gonna get it. Even back in his younger years, his first stint with the Cavaliers, I knew that record was gonna be his. Regardless of like, if Kobe, I thought Kobe was gonna get it before LeBron, and that LeBron would overtake Kobe because I just felt like LeBron's body would last longer. But Kobe's body fell out on him. At the end of his 16th year, and Kobe was never the same, and uh, he never got a chance to really capture that record because his body just completely fell on with the Achilles tendon. Then after that, he broke his knee. The next season, next season, he played like six games, broke his knee. The season after that, he broke his shoulder, barely played any games, and then he just pretty much limped through his 20th season. So, big shout out to LeBron again. Uh, amazing, amazing accomplishment. Do I think LeBron James is the greatest scorer of all time? Absolutely not. No. 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 But this is an amazing achievement and speaks to his ability to stay healthy, his longevity, his talent, and his adaptability and his his will, his will to continue to dominate on certain areas of the floor. Big shout out to LeBron, one of the greatest players of all time. You can't take that from him. He is hands down one of the greatest players of all time can't take that from him some people he's the goat some people he's not the goat but it was it was cool to witness this no pun intended and what better place to do it than staples you know maybe new york but i think i'd rather do it at staples than new york that's all i gotta say about it were you there did you witness it live where were you when you saw lebron james become the nba's all-time leading scorer i would love to hear your story and how you witnessed it let me know in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and I'll catch you on the next one. We out, baby.